Let me show you how to get some clean point-to-point -point dissolve toggles like this, all with just VRC Fury. First, make sure you have VRC Fury installed. Head over to vrcfury.com download. Make sure to add it to your creator companion and then add it to your project here. Next, let's talk about how to set up your Poyomi material for dissolves. Click on your mesh and make sure it's set to cutout for the material. Scroll down to special effects, check mark dissolve, select dissolve type as point to point. Edge color can be whatever color you want. Dissolve color, the alpha needs to be set to zero. And then make a dissolve noise. You can type in noise here, and these are the Poyomi provided noise maps. I have mine set to these hexagons. Next, make sure Dissolve Alpha is animated so that there's an A next to here. Scroll down to Point to Point section, expand that if you need. Um, it's recommended to use vertex colors. That way, no matter what way your avatar is bent or oriented, it always dissolves in a specific way that you have set here in the material. Now you may be asking, how do I bake the vertex colors into the mesh here? Well, Poyomi provides this vertex color baker here. Select your avatar and click Bake Vertex Positions. Next, you want to create a start and end point for your dissolves here. I'm dissolving my pants from bottom to top, so I'm starting at Y negative 0.1 and Y 0.9 as the starting and ending points. Basically, how you determine these numbers is you want to play around with the Dissolve Alpha slider so that when you move it just a little bit, it starts the dissolve down here at the bottom, and then when you move the slider all the way to the end, it gets rid of the mesh and dissolves it all the way. Um, you can still see a little bit more. And just as a precaution, I recommend selecting Clamp Dissolve to make sure that it is fully dissolved when it's at 1. Now on to the VRC Fury. Right-click your avatar and create an empty object. We're going to organize our VRC Fury components under here. Create another empty, and we're going to call this Pants Dissolve. Next, we're going to add a VRC Fury Toggle component. Just type Toggle and click VRC Fury Toggle. We're going to set the menu path under Clothing and Pants. Next, we're going to click Options and Save Between Worlds, because we want this to save between worlds. We want our pants to be always on by default. And lastly, we want to enable Transition State, since this is going to be a Dissolve toggle. And Transition In, we're going to click Add Action, and we're going to animate a Material property. Drag in our Pants Renderer here. The property value is going to be the value of the Dissolve Alpha slider on the material. So to get that, you right-click Dissolve Alpha and click Copy Animated Property Name. And paste it here. And we want the Dissolve Alpha to go to a value of 1 when we're transitioning in. Next, we're going to do uh, a blend time of 0 0.75 seconds. That's just what I recommend. Basically, it dissolves this in 0 0.75 seconds. And then when it's done, we're going to object toggle and have the pants be turned on because we have the pants defaulted on. And then we're going to add another one for material property. Drag in the pants renderer here. Make sure to copy the dissolve alpha and control V to paste it here. And we're going to leave the uh, pants dissolve alpha to zero here. And then basically, once we toggle this again, we're going to do everything in reverse the exact same way for 0 0.75 seconds. And then we can go into play mode here with our gesture manager. See that pants are already on by default. When we turn them off, they get dissolved off and vice versa. And one last tidbit is that VRC Fury is a powerful tool, and I recommend using it for all your simple animator needs, such as dissolve toggles and other things. My entire avatar is created with VRC Fury. As you can see here, I haven't even touched the effects layer one bit.